third time's a charm. Battery just ran out. So today we're making pandemonium soap. So pandemonium is a soap I bring out for autumn and it smells sort of nutty, caramelly, not really chocolatey. It's got more of like a rich sort of vanilla. Um, this one darkens on its own, so there's no additives in this. It's sort of, um, I'm putting like a little bit of mica in oil for my swirl on the top, which I always do, and I might put a little bit inside. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, pandemonium is what we're making today. And this one was inspired by the film Something Wicked This Way Comes. I did like a series years ago when I was in my old workshop. Um, that's where Dark Carnival came from. Um, I don't soak that anymore because it, this scent sort of doesn't stick in the soap very well. It sort of morphs into something a bit wishy-washy so I don't make Dark Carnival but there was Dark Carnival, Shadow Show which is the next soap I'm going to be making, Pandemonium, Dust Witch that I want to be, be, will be made as well um, and maybe a couple of others we'll see but uh, oh Jim Nightshade is another one that's like an apple pie scent um, so yeah we're on to autumn now so stay tuned you can see how I make Pandemonium right. I am going to use some Golden Sparkle on the top of this soap from the soapery this one is and I'm just going to use a little bit on my spoon just to make um, a mica in oil swirl on the top so I'm just going to add a little bit of oil to that and that's the only swirl I'm going to do because this soap just discolors to a very 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 dark brown so there we go that's a mica in oil for a swirl on the top. I have actually okay. used ready to pour the lye. I'm going to end up going right to the top of this bucket again. Well, not right to the top, but quite high. This is making two loaves today. It's enough for the time being, anyway. Okay, I'm going to stick blend this up. Add my fragrance now. I've got my moulds ready. Right, I'm going to start pouring and we'll do a bit of those uh, mica and oil swirls as we go. So I need to go quite a bit in before I start doing that because it's going to slosh about anyway. It's quite um, a thin batter. I wanted to keep this pretty thin for the time being because I've used a 40% discount on my water. A bit more there. So I'm going to grab my pipette. I just use like a cheapy pipette from Amazon. Okay, so I'm just going to drop it like this. I'm not sure if this is going to do anything at all inside. It might, it might not. But because it goes so dark, we might get something quite nice inside. I'm going to scrape the rest of this out and come back and do the top. Okay, I'm going to do more swirls on the top. So let's get some more of this up. And go like this. I was just thinking I could have swirled the inside bits a bit more but I just um, I haven't we're just going to see what it turns out like because this soap's normally just a dark brown soap with this uh, gold swirl on the top anyway so anything inside it doesn't really matter if it doesn't come out 
I won't say as intended because I haven't intended anything. <laughs> We're just going to see what happens. But I think you could do this if you've got like you wanted to add more. Then you could. Okay, that's all that. Chuck that away. Chopstick. I'm just going to swirl in there first, and then I'm going to peek the top. In a minute when it's set up a bit more because it's still a little bit too fluid to create any peaks yet. Whenever I see this swirl that I've just done on the top I always think of um, Handmade in Florida. <laughs> she always, I'm going to take a picture quickly on my phone so I can put it in the video but she always used to do that lovely swirl and it always reminds me of Zahida. I've seen her about for a while actually and where she's got to. Okay so that's that. I'm going to come back in a minute and just peek it a bit more so it gives a little bit more interest on the top because I don't really like a flat top on my soap so I'll be back in a second. Okay I'm just going to do a um, peek top with my spoon today. Just going to see what this turns out like because I don't ever do this and I'm just going to do it because I want a different texture on this one. These get cut a bit thicker on my cutter so I'm just going to just do something different today that's all. So go up and down on each side and it will just swirl that gold in quite nicely but not too much. Sometimes with a chopstick it can be a little bit too much. So again, we go from this way, bring it around. Something a little bit different, isn't it? You just get so used to doing the same thing all the time. And I thought, I'm going to do something different today. Okay, that is quite different for me. It looks pretty cool. Righty ho, I should take some pictures and um, put those at the end of this little bit of the video and then there will be the cut coming up next. So stay tuned for that and I'll show you what it looks like inside and we'll see if we've got anything interesting at all. All right, so I'm going to just trim the sides. I've just unmolded this, and as you can see already, how dark it's become. And it's been a few days because I didn't come in at the weekend to cut it, so it's gone pretty dark. Inside, obviously, we know that it'll probably be this light shade inside, but it's going to darken and get like super super dark over time looks nice and let's clear up this mess I've just cut a different soap on there so I'm going to get a bit of kitchen paper so I can put this down So I've got my block in place on my cutter just so I've got it um, so that I can get 15 bars out of this loaf. So there we go, inside there is a little tiny sliver of that gold which will be a bit more obvious when this soap gets darker. So it's nice that you can see it actually. I didn't think it was going to come out very well but it probably will look quite pretty once this is darkened to super dark brown. You see that in there? So 
Nice, really nice on the top. There you go. So today I've got a few orders to do and then I'm going home to edit videos or this video rather and then I've got to go and pick Matt up because his car has gone in for his annual MOT so we'll see if it passes if it doesn't that's going to be great <laughs> not let's hope for the best so the rest of the week will be spent making more autumn soaps and I'm really my head is definitely in the autumn space right now because our weather here has been pretty autumnal the last few days the whole weekend was uh, pretty gross and Saturday night believe it or not we lit our burner at home it had gotten that cold and we sort of gone out for a walk but all day Saturday it had rained and there was the medieval festival here in town which is an annual event and there's one here and there's one in a town called Tewkesbury and it's really good fun and they reenact the Battle of Simon de Montfort with the reenactors and they come from all over this year I think there was a team in from Italy that were doing it and I think, if memory serves, somebody told me that some of the reenactors had worked on things like Game of Thrones and um, Lord of the Rings and things like that. So films where there's battles of, you know, army and swords and all that kind of stuff. So those old medieval battles that took place in, I think it's definitely Game of Thrones, I think. They definitely used the same reenactors. Sorry, this blooming camera. So that was interesting. Anyway, it was all right yesterday. The weather had picked up a bit, so we went and had another look. And I think a lot of the stands that were there had actually sold out of their goods, so they made up for it yesterday. It's such a shame because it's a big event and a lot of people come to sell their wares and there's some really, really lovely bits and pieces that you can buy down there, like beautiful wooden chairs and furniture and swords. And there's all kinds of bits and pieces. And it's a really, really good show. But when it rains, oh, it's not nice. Really not nice for them. So I'm glad that the weather picked up yesterday so they could make some money, really. Looks nice on the top. So if you can hear people talking outside, it's a bit loud in the alleyway this morning. Okay, so that is pandemonium. And I'll show some pictures of an old one that I've made just so you can see how dark they actually go because that's not going to darken for another few days to the depth that it goes to. So that be that. I will be back soon for another video. Um, I did put a short up the other day about doing a live soap making video. So if anybody wanted to soap along, if you've got the recipe, or even just use your own recipe if you've not got mine, um, then we'll do something where we can all make the same soap. But it might not come off that good yet because if we haven't all got the same fragrance it won't work so maybe we should do it a live soaping session just use your whatever fragrance you want to use or essential oil you want to use but we could just do it live together so I've got to figure out a way to split the screen so we can do it all together if not then I'll just do a live soap making video eventually <laughs> okay I'll see you for the next one ta-ta